So uh, there's quite a bit of modern music written for the harpsichord. Um, so people think, oh, like you take piano pieces that are for the piano and you sort of transcribe them or you play them on the harpsichord. I mean, pianos take enough of, um, of our music. Um, <laughs> but uh, we're a much classier bunch than that, so we don't do that. We have our own music. And um, actually, people, a lot of people don't know that um, there are over 50 modern concertos for the harpsichord. Um, so I get to play with a lot of different orchestras, and you know, I always wanted to play the harpsichord, um, but I didn't want to lose the opportunity to play new music, because I really love new music, and I have a lot of friends who are composers, because composers are the best people, as we all know. And uh, see, it goes composers, and then harpsichordists, I think, and then everyone else. And, uh, and um, so uh, I've always loved jazz, and um, there was a jazz pianist who worked with Benny Goodman named uh, Mel Powell. Mel Powell was a nice nice Jewish boy from New York who took up the name Mel Powell. I don't know what his ori original name was, but um, he became a jazz pianist, and then he decided to become a composer of sort of um, proper music, as it was called, in the 1950s, and he studied with Hindemith, um, but unlike Hindemith, he's um, actually not boring. And um, <laughs> so he wrote this piece for the Juilliard Festival of New Music in 1951. It's called Recitative and Toccata Percosa, and uh, it was premiered in, in New York in the same year. Um, so this is, this is Mel Powell.
So, uh, in, in America, we know a composer, even if we don't really like classical music, called Paco Bell. And we always talk about the canon by Paco Bell, right? Many weddings. Uh, I remember that show on TLC was a bridezilla or something. I think they had Paco Bell on sort of 40 times. Anyway, so when I arrived in Europe and we were doing concerts, um, I was in, somewhere in Germany and they said, oh, we're going to do a piece by Pachel Bell. And I was like, who's that? So we started doing the piece and I thought, this sounds a lot like... Sounds a lot like Pachel Bell. So actually, if you want to know the real pronunciation of his name, it's Pachel Bell. Probably some German viewers of this video will leave comments that I've pronounced it mis wrongly, but it's Pachel Bell, Johann Pachel Bell, who wrote much more than, uh, than this canon. Pachel Bell actually taught Bach's brothers, so he was considered good enough to teach Bach's. Um, and uh, he wrote a lot for the harpsichord. Um, this is just a little piece of his. Actually, um, I learned this piece recently and I was very excited about learning it. And so I record things on my, on my phone. And um, I sent it to a friend of mine named Imani Mosley. And I said, do you think I should play this at Tiny Desk? I think it's a good piece. And she said, yes. So actually, this is dedicated to Imani, my friend, who's here. This is a Chacon, by the way, by Pachel Bell. <laughs> 